Tuesday morning, I think it is. No, yes, it's a Tuesday morning and the sun is shining. And um, I volunteered to put myself forward to answer a few of your questions because uh, we certainly set the cat amongst the pigeons and have caused uh, uh, some excitement, which is a good thing. Oh, great question. Uh, well, um, hmm. it's been in my head for four years, this game. Uh, um, American Civil War isn't particularly a period I know a lot about, though, uh, um, like most of us probably watching this video, we had our old FX Confederates and Union, and um, one of the things I yearned to do was, um, at the back of all the DC comics when I was a boy, when I was eight, when dinosaurs stalked the earth, um, they used to have these adverts for um, model soldier sets. Just get all these soldiers and they're, they're in a foot locker thousands of soldiers and it would be American Civil War and um but it was an American advert and I was a six seven year old child and you, you didn't know what a zip code was and it said put your zip code and so we had no idea how to order from 1960s England to America uh and, you know no way of transferring money or getting it uh so you know, I used to dream about these big American Civil War so that's good so I said you got log huts and barricades and artillery and cavalry and thousands of models. Uh, in reality, uh, thank God I never sent out for them because they were bloody awful. They're almost flat and just revolting stuff. But the vision was in my head of having a big box of soldiers. And I've always wanted to do that. And so four years ago, I mooted with Paul. I said, why don't we do a great big set of American Civil War? We could do all the tooling on a frame. Uh, and because everybody wears pretty much the same uniform, Little differences in things like water bottles and things like that, but who cares on that scale? Not me. Uh, and I said, then the other thing we could do, we could do half of them in blue and half of them grey, just like Airfix did. Good gag for all of those who remember it. And he said, yeah, that's a great idea. So, uh, but it's taken four years to do it because we've been uh, crunching through bolt action and all the other stuff that we have to do for all our other fans. So we put it on the back burner. Uh, but finally, they've uh, they've um, uh, they've cracked for the for the boss's pleasure and uh, finally produced this fine looking game. We haven't designed it to be any scale as such. We've designed it to look fantastic on the tabletop. We started from scratch. Uh, one man's fifteen mil can be twelve mil, can be eighteen mil. They can be fat. They can be thin. Uh, they vary hugely. So. There's no way we could copy somebody else's because whatever we'd copy, somebody say, well, I don't like the model that way. We've just made them how we thought best, whilst at the same time um, working out how to fit as many as we can on a frame. So uh, it's quite important. There's a lot of science in, in here and engineering in this sprue. So, uh, so uh, you could nominally call it, um, we call it epic scale because um, you can fight epic battles. The models are 13 and a half millimetre tall. That's what scale it is, if that's what you need to know. Who knows? We've only done it for a day. <laughs> I can't answer that. Maybe. Um, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Um, but, you know, after a day's research, uh, I think I can't possibly say yes or no. What a great question. Um, we picked the American Civil War to do because it suited um, it suited us. And the fact is that, as you know, the infantry for both sides effectively wore the same clothing, but they're either in blue or gray with some differences. So uh, the vast majority of what you'll be buying and fielding will be in hard styrene plastic. Uh, the supernumerary things, which will be dismounted cavalry, skirmishers, uh, limbers, zouaves, uh, iron brigade, horse holders, they're going to be in um, Warlord Resin. Uh, we do, uh, but uh, it'll be in January. So we're just creating some excitement to, to show the first one, but we're going to get it all 
all you know packaged up and looking lovely before it goes out there to the to the world. But um, I think mid to late January is is where I've been looking for. I can't give you a, a proper day. Coravinus, all sorts of weird stuff going on, slows everybody down. So I'm, I, I won't put my name to it in case I'm called a liar. Oh yeah, lots of cavalry. Uh, the cavalry looked great uh, and uh, really um, armed with uh, sabre and revolver and all carrying carbines. And uh, as I say, we also do the horse holders and the dismounted cavalry. So because the cavalry role in the actual battle was really quite rare. Uh, they were really acting as dragoons, if at all, like on the first day at Gettysburg, where uh, the Union cavalry uh, uh, fought the Confederates to a standstill for a while and bought some time. But for the mounted charge, uh, those those are more cavalry against cavalry actions or raids. But cavalry, for sure. Yeah, no, that's a great question. Um, uh, I think the Napoleonic version would be awesome. Uh, but can we get this one out of the way first? Oh, well, the good news is um, uh, in your box, uh, with those 2,400 fantastic models, uh, you get a stripped down black powder rule book, which has got all you need to play uh, uh, the American Civil War. And there's also a supplement in there which uh, with the extra rules from uh, Glory Hallelujah, less all the history and a lot of the scenarios put in there as well. So it gives you these two books combined will, will give you all you need to do, know how to play American Civil War. Uh, you know, for those who really, for real aficionados, you could pick up Glory Hallelujah for all the glory of that book too. Uh, but that was a design with 28 millimeter models in there. There's some beautiful stuff from the, the Perry Twins and everything else in there, which is, a glorious book but yes it'll be fine you get the both books in there and it gives you all you need to play